the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution a happy day my dear children so let me begin this class with the four mantras for young students that was said by our retired ips officer kiran bedi ma'am and the present lieutenant governor of puducherry today as today morning as i was just going through the youtube two weeks ago she has just two weeks last two before two weeks she has just posted this for just for young students and the title goes like this the four mantras for young students the first mantra is r r letter r what is this r r is read every day you have to read something not your books that is related to your uh, subjects social science maths physics chemistry no read anything it can be a spiritual book it can be an article it can be anything according to your wish read something that you like anything that can be a spiritual anything of your wish that should take place every day number 2 the second mantra is w right you should have the habit of writing at least one page every day what does this mean that is you should have the habit of writing just scribble what you have read or what you feel you have to have the habit of writing she says that when you have the habit when you keep the habit of writing automatically you become disciplined you become disciplined that is what the second mantra is write the third one is do the third mantra is do do a good deed every day every day you need to de- do a good deed and that you have to write it in your that the third mantra is do a good deed that good deed need not be a big thing maybe uh, understand that is that good uh, that big uh, good deed need not be a big thing chances are there your younger sister small one may be crying maybe you would have made a smile or you would have made him smile or you would have uh, your mother maybe she is uh, doing some task your small help maybe you would have taken the broom for her according to you that is a small deed but that is a good deed so do a good deed every day and the fourth mantra what she says is reflect r that is reflect the fourth is reflect what is this reflect self evaluation at the end of the day you have to self evaluate yourself this is what is uh, what she says is yoga or meditation that is self evaluation ponder into yourself that is today innu njan endakke cheyidu innu njan idu idu nalla karyam cheyidu ഇന്ന് ഞാൻ ഇതുപോലെ ചെയ്തു എൻ്റെ അമ്മയിൽ നിന്ന് ഞാൻ വിഷമിപ്പിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇന്ന് എൻ്റെ ഈ ഒരു കാര്യം ഞാൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ല സെൽഫ് ഇവാലുവേഷൻ വോട്ട് ഓൾ തിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് സെൽഫ് ഇവാലുവേഷൻ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ഹോൾ ഡേ സോ ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഏബിൾ ടു ഡു ദീസ് തിങ്സ് ഷുവർലി യു വിൽ ബി ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് സോ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ദീസ് ആർ ദ ഫോർ തിങ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് റീഡ് റൈറ്റ് do a good deed every day every day no it is not a it not it's not necessary that you have to do a big nalla oru valiya nalla karyam cheyan enikku inna onnum pattirilla nalla oru karyam illa nalla karyam cheyan nalla karyam en good deed ennu uddheshikkunnathu as i said selva ningada aniyano aniyathiyo karige irikkum 
ആ സമയത്ത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അവരെ ഒന്ന് ചിരിപ്പിക്കാൻ പറ്റിയാൽ അതൊരു നല്ല കാര്യമാണ് അമ്മയ്ക്ക് ചിലപ്പോൾ അമ്മ ഇങ്ങനെ പോണ സമയത്ത് അമ്മ അമ്മയുടെ കയ്യിൽ നിന്ന് എന്തെങ്കിലും താഴെ വീണിട്ടുണ്ടാവും അത് എടുത്തു കൊടുക്കുന്നത് ഒരു നല്ല കാര്യമായിരിക്കും ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ നല്ല കാര്യമായിട്ടുള്ളൂ നല്ല കാര്യമാണ് ആൻഡ് ഫോർത്ത് ഇസ് റിഫ്ലക്ട് സെൽഫ് ഇവാലുവേഷൻ അറ്റ് ദ എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡേ അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് ആ ഡയറി എടുത്താലും ഒരു ബുക്ക് എടുത്തിട്ട് നമ്മളൊരു നോട്ട് ചെയ്യുക ഇന്നത്തെ ദിവസം എഴുതാൻ പറ്റിയിട്ടില്ല ഒന്ന് ചിന്തിക്കുക എടുക്കാൻ പോണ നേരത്ത് ഒന്ന് ചിന്തിച്ച് നോക്കുക ഇന്നത്തെ ദിവസം ഞാൻ എന്തൊക്കെ ചെയ്തു ആരെയൊക്കെ വിഷമിപ്പിച്ചു എന്തൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞു എന്തൊക്കെ നല്ല കാര്യം ചെയ്തു ഇഫ് യു റേബിൾ ടു ഡു ഇറ്റ് സ്വയം കറക്ഷൻസും നമുക്ക് തന്നെ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും സോ റിയർലി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ നൈസ് തിങ് റിയർലി ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു താങ്ക് ദിസ് മാഡം ഫോർ ഗിവിങ് സച്ച് എ വണ്ടർഫുൾ മന്ത്രാസ് ഫോർ അവർ യങ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് സോ ചിൽഡ്രൻ വിത്ത് ദിസ് ഷാൽ ഐ continue my class where i have stopped now this week let me begin with conventional signs and symbols so in a topographic map we usually have certain signs and symbols plenty of signs and symbols are there in kind of this topographic map and this signs and symbols are internationally accepted this signs and symbols which are incorporated in the topographic map are internationally accepted so the signs and symbols the uh, symbols that are used in map the symbols that are used in one country can be read by the people or by the person of another country are you getting it that is this signs and symbols which are incorporated in the topographic map are internationally accepted so the per people or the person of one country can easily read the map that is what all things are there from other countries also so for this conventional signs and symbols let us have a look at the video symbols that are used in topographical maps to represent certain human activities and relief features are known as conventional signs and symbols these conventional signs and symbols are useful as they help to give plenty of information in a small space they are easy to draw and can be read easily most of these signs and symbols are standardized and can be found in maps across the world very often the map legend has the details of the symbols being used in the map that help you identify the feature on a map let us look at some of the conventional signs and symbols used in india the table on your screen gives you some of the signs and symbols used in topographical maps in india For example, different types of mountains are represented by signs and symbols that you see on the screen. Similarly, if you want to identify symbols related to railways on a topographical map, look at the symbols displayed on the screen and see what each of them mean. Different types of wells are marked with these symbols, so you know areas which will have a good supply of water for irrigation and possibly intensive agriculture is practiced in regions where perennial wells tube wells etc are available thus we can see from types of settlements to type of communication from drainage patterns to vegetation from height to direction are all covered under conventional signs and symbols there are some hindi terms used in topography glow means different colors are used on a topographical map to show the distributional pattern of different land uses click on a button to learn more The color black is used to write names, lines of latitude and longitude, surveyed trees, heights and their numbering, river banks, broken ground and dry streams, railway, 
telephone and telegraph lines. All water related features like perennial rivers are marked using blue. Different shades of green are used to mark forests, grasslands, orchards, scattered trees and shrubs. Rocky badlands and uncultivable land are marked in white. Cultivable land is marked in yellow. Brown is used to mark sand features like sand dunes, hills, contour lines and their numbering and form lines. The color red is used to mark the grid lines that represent the eastings and the northings and other man-made features like settlements, roads, cart tracks, etc. You would have already seen in the video the conventional signs and symbols. And in that, all the colors also you have said. For, from the examination point of view, all the symbols they will not be asking. You will come to know certain symbols are important like a graveyard, church, temple, lighthouse, uh, railway paths, all these things are important. And this you have to just go through from the textbook. You need not write it in your file, just go through from the textbook itself. They will be asking that we will come to know four figure reference six figure. Uh, only thing that is fort, graveyard, lighthouse, church, temple, all these things, it is there. That will come uh, will later. If these things you have to go through from the textbook, no need to put it in your file. Now, in that uh, uh, conventional signs and symbols, certain things were there. That is representing the height. Height ne represent wonder. Certain symbols were there. The, those were contour lines, form lines, spot height, triangulated, hi, triangulated height and benchmark was there. In your uh, conventional signs and symbols it was there. Now, what are these contour lines? Already in the conventional signs and symbols you would have seen contour lines. That symbol was there. Contour lines are imaginary lines which connect places having the same height above the sea level. What are contour lines? Contour lines are imaginary lines connecting places having the same height, having the same height. So this is called as contour lines. So once again contour lines are, this is the symbol, already symbol you would have seen. So what is what are contour lines? Contour lines are imaginary lines connecting places having same height. Next is form lines. Form lines. Chela Samit, you would have seen again in your uh, uh, symbols, you would have seen conventional signs. You know, broken lines are there. Why do you think these broken lines are there? In an uneven surface, when the uh, land surface, in the earth surface, when the height of a place is, we are unable to take the survey because of ruggedness, the rugged parna, unevenness. When you are unable to take the height, when you are unable to do the survey because of unevenness, then the height will be measured in the form of broken lines. That is, Urunere height namala survey survey edikana sametha samanere palande uneven surface on angle. Avade endana this shows that it is not an even surface. There are uneven, these are uneven places. So, this symbol shows that form lines represent that there are this surface, the surface is not a plane, it is uneven. Next is uh, spot height. What do you mean by spot height? That is the actual height of a place, the actual height of a place will be represented with the height beside a spot. Are you getting it? Form lines in the parnial in the what is form lines? 
this dot indicates this are form lines idine nammal form lines ennu parayum what are form lines this indicates that the surface is not plane it is uneven due to unevenness the lines will be like this broken lines aayirikum and spot height means the actual height of a place is indicated with the spot and the height or black dot um undavum ainde thottu eduthe ആ ഹൈറ്റ് ഇത്ര ഹൈറ്റ് എന്ന് കാണിക്കും അപ്പോൾ ഒരു ബ്ലാക്ക് സ്പോട്ടും ഒരു സ്പോട്ടും അതിൻ്റെ തൊട്ടടുത്ത് ഒരു ഹൈറ്റും ആണെങ്കിൽ ഒരു നമ്പറും ആണെങ്കിൽ ദാറ്റ് ഷോസ് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ ആക്ച്വൽ ഹൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ പ്ലേസ് ക്ലിയർ മൈ ഡിയർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇസ് ട്രയാങ്കുലേറ്റഡ് ഹൈറ്റ് ട്രയാങ്കുലേറ്റഡ് ഹൈറ്റ് ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു സിമ്പിളും ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു നമ്പറും കൊടുത്താൽ ഇറ്റ് ഷോസ് ദാറ്റ് ദ സർവേ ഇസ് ഡൺ using trigonometric method this survey is trigonometric survey if the symbol is triangle symbol um or number um ingane koduthittundengil that shows that it is a triangulated height what does this triangular triangulated height represent it shows that the survey is done using the trigonometric method clear and finally benchmark benchmark bm bm represents the height of reservoirs well anakettukal avade undavanam allengil velli prominent buildings okke anengil the height that will be represented with the symbol bm bm represents benchmark what does this benchmark represents benchmark or bm represents that is avade or anakettu und allengil or prominent building aan ennallathu represent cheyna oru symbol aan end benchmark so contour lines are imaginary lines uh, connecting places having same height uh, form lines the broken lines indicate that the plane the surface is not a even it is the because of unevenness the lines are broken spot height the actual height of a place is measured is uh, indicated by using a spot with the number triangulated height the what is this the uh, height of a place is recorded by using the trigonometric survey and with the symbol triangle and benchmark indicates the survey that is the bm represents the important that is there are reservoirs or uh, uh, what is it prominent buildings are located the height of reservoirs or uh, prominent buildings are recorded with the letter bm bm is benchmark clear so children you already know in maps and globes how do we locate the places we locate the places in maps and globes by with the help of latitudes and longitudes but what happens is in a topographic map to locate this uh, places the locations uh, of minor geographical features minor and cheriya cheriya geographical features in the locations to locate this minor geographical features in a topographical map it is very 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 difficult large scale map what are topographical map topographical maps are large scale maps which incorporate physical and cultural features of minute details nanu so, parnadu appo to incorporate this minor geographical features in a topographic map it is very very difficult so in order to solve this difficulty in order to solve this difficulty what has been done there was a method that method is called as grid reference what is this grid reference why they have in, used this grid reference in a, in normal maps and globes in to locate the places we use uh, latitudes and longitudes but what has happened in a topographic map to locate minor geographical features minute aitla geographical features kandupidikan buddhimuttayirunnu ee buddhimutt neekanayittu ee buddhimutt maatanayittu endu avada kondu vannu what was brought that is there was a method in order to solve the problem in order to they found out a solution for this and that solution was grid reference now let us see what are these 
grid references or how this grid reference is able to find out the locations of minor geographical features the minor geographical feature in the varanad it can be forest water bodies rivers temples church graveyard anything it can be so let us see how this uh, grid reference can find out the location of this minor geographical feature so i said in order to find out the locations of minor geographical features in a topographic map what was their grid reference the solution is grid reference in this grid reference to uh, how is it that is two solution grid reference le rendu annam vannu that is one is north south lines in order to solve this difficulty uh, two solutions were that is north south lines that is called as easting and east west lines or east west uh, direction or east west lines or east west direction anything north south lines called as eastings and east west lines called as northings was were, were the solution to solve this problem that is north end solution means in order to find out the location of minor geographical feature north south lines called as eastings and east west lines called as northings were the solution now let us check how this eastings and northings will help us to find out the location of this uh, geographical feature okay first let us get into this easting first let us see what are these how this eastings are taken so what are what do you mean by eastings eastings means north south lines are called as eastings let us give number to this north south lines are called as eastings appo endana eastings ennu parayanadhu endana north to south lines are called as eastings is that clear children so what are uh, eastings north south lines are called as eastings don't forget this north south lines are called as eastings clear my dear children understood okay then what is northing northing means what northing means what east west lines are called as northings i stopped writing there i first want i just want to know now if i ask you my dear children which is your east east endu parayumbo edana beginning first day of my class also same question i have asked hope you wouldn't have forgotten always to the right of you is east so east west lines are called as what northings east west lines are called as northings clear understood so what do you mean by easting easting ennu parnyal endana what do you mean by easting easting means the north south lines are called as eastings and the east west lines are called as what northings idu varikum clear aayyo understood ini ningada confusion endayirikkum what is your confusion your confusion will be idile ingane varachu endu teacher idile engane aanu oru location kandupidikka annalladayirikkum aano seriyano maybe you will be thinking 
ഇപ്പോൾ ടീച്ചർ ഇങ്ങനെ എഴുതി ഇനിയിപ്പോൾ എങ്ങനെയാണ് നമ്മളിതിൻ്റെ ഒരു ലൊക്കേഷൻ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കുക എങ്ങനെയാണ് എന്നുള്ളത് നൗ ലിസൺ കെയർഫുള്ളി ഫസ്റ്റ് പോയിൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ഈസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഇസ് ദ നോർത്ത് സൗത്ത് ലൈൻസ് ആർ കോൾഡ് ആസ് ഈസ്റ്റിംഗ്സ് ക്ലിയർ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു സോ നൗ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പോയിൻ്റ് ഫോർ ഈസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഇസ് നോർത്ത് സൗത്ത് ലൈൻസ് ആർ കോൾഡ് ആസ് ഈസ്റ്റിംഗ്സ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പോയിൻ്റ് ക്ലിയർ ഇനി സെക്കൻഡ് പോയിൻ്റ് എന്ത് കൊടുക്കാം അവിടെ ദ വാല്യൂ ടുവേർഡ്സ് ദ ഈസ്റ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഇൻക്രീസിങ് ഈസ്റ്റിംഗ് നിങ്ങളൊന്ന് ബോർഡ് ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചു നോക്കൂ ഈസ്റ്റിംഗ്സിൻ്റെ വാല്യൂ ഈസ്റ്റിലേക്ക് ഇൻക്രീസ് ആയിക്കൊണ്ട് ഇരിക്കുകയാണ് ആണോ സെവൻറ്റി ഫോർ സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് സോറി ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് സെവൻറ്റി സിക്സ് യെസ് കറക്റ്റ് സെവൻറ്റി ഫോർ സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് സെവൻറ്റി സിക്സ് സെവൻറ്റി സെവൻ ശരിയാണോ അപ്പോൾ ആദ്യത്തെ പോയിൻ്റ് എന്താണ് പറഞ്ഞത് വാട്ട് ഇഡ് ഐ സേ നോർത്ത് സൗത്ത് ലൈൻസ് ആർ കോൾഡ് ആസ് ഈസ്റ്റിംഗ്സ് നോർത്ത് സൗത്ത് ലൈൻസ് ആർ കോൾഡ് ആസ് ഈസ്റ്റിംഗ്സ് ഫസ്റ്റ് പോയിൻ്റ് കിട്ടിയോ രണ്ടാമത്തെ പോയിൻ്റ് എന്താണ് ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചു നോക്കൂ സെവൻറ്റി ഫോർ സെവൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് സെവൻറ്റി സിക്സ് സെവൻറ്റി സെവൻ നമ്മുടെ റൈറ്റ് ആണ് ഈസ്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ദ വാല്യൂ ടുവേർഡ്സ് ദ ഈസ്റ്റ് ഇൻക്രീസസ് ഈസ്റ്റിങ്ങിൻ്റെ സെക്കൻഡ് ഫീച്ചർ എന്താണ് ദ വാല്യൂ ടുവേർഡ്സ് ദ ഈസ്റ്റ് ഇൻക്രീസസ് രണ്ട് പോയിൻ്റ് മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ ഇനിയാണ് മൂന്നാമത്തെ പോയിൻ്റ് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കേണ്ടത് മൂന്നാമത്തെ പോയിൻ്റിലേക്കാണ് ശ്രദ്ധിക്കേണ്ടത് ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ ഐ ഗോ ബാക്ക് ടു ഒരു കൺവെൻഷണൽ സയൻസ് ആൻഡ് സിമ്പിൾസ് ടീച്ചർ എടുക്കാൻ പോവാണ് ടെക്സ്റ്റ് എന്ന് വിഷ് യു ഹവ് ഓൾറെഡി സിമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു കൺവെൻഷണൽ സയൻസ് ആൻഡ് സിമ്പിൾസ് അത് നിങ്ങൾ നമുക്ക് നോക്കാം ഒരു ചേർച്ച് എടുക്കാം ചേർച്ചിൻ്റെ സിമ്പിൾ ഞാൻ ഇവിടെ വെച്ചു ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചോളൂ ബോർഡ് ഇവിടെ ടീച്ചർ ചേർച്ചിൻ്റെ ഇതാണ് ചേർച്ചിൻ്റെ സിമ്പിൾ ശരിയാണോ ടെക്സ്റ്റ് ബുക്ക് നോക്കിക്കോളും നമ്മൾ കൺവെൻഷണൽ സയൻസ് ആൻഡ് സിമ്പിൾസ് എടുത്തു നോക്കി ഇത് ചേർച്ച് ആണ് റൈറ്റ് മനസ്സിലാവണ്ടോ അപ്പോൾ വാട്ട് ഇഡ് ഐറ്റൽ ഈ ഒരു ഗ്രിഡ് എന്തിനാണ് നമ്മൾ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് ദ ലൊക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് മൈനർ ജോഗ്രഫിക്കൽ ഫീച്ചർ അപ്പോൾ എനിക്ക് അറിയേണ്ടത് നൗ എവ്രി വൺ വി വോണ്ട് ടു നോ ഇൻ എ ടോപ്പോഗ്രഫിക് മാപ്പ് വേർ ഇസ് ദിസ് ചേർച്ച് ലൊക്കേറ്റഡ് ടോപ്പോഗ്രഫിക് മാപ്പിൽ വാട്ട് ആർ ടോപ്പോഗ്രഫിക് മാപ്പ് ടോപ്പോഗ്രഫിക് മാപ്സ് ആർ മാപ്സ് which tells us which gives information about the physical and cultural features of smaller even minute detail minute aitla details large scale maps aanu smaller area de minute aitla details namukku therum appo ee or church ne details an evade aanu where is this church located ennu ariyanam ee church located aitla located ennu ariyanengil where is the church if you want to know the location of the church you should know the value of the easting and you should know the value of the northing adu kondana ivda grid reference vannirikkunathu is that clear appo teacher parna first point endayirun eastings ne kurichittu aaditha point endu parnu easting inde point endha parnadu north south lines are called as easting endu parnu what did i say second point that is the value to a value of the eastings will increase towards the east east will keep on the value increase on okay in the third point will be around for one third point the teacher with a church where it's you but the third point are in your weekend because you do features on the middle of the party can do show you are but the third point are near the canon you do either a course eastings in the lines are near the canon means north south lines on an area on either marina now the rule is e location de that is the this geographical feature de immediate left lilla immediate left lilla easting inde value eludanam are you understanding that is the value of the immediate left lilla easting inde value ana that means ee geographical feature inde the location the, the value where the geographical feature is located near to the geographical feature the value of the easting to the immediate left ee location inde immediate left lilla value easting inde value edana edayirikkum 
74 this has to be written understood clear appo moonu karyangalana easting ne kurichu padichathu endana padichathu the first one is these are north south lines the second point is that is the value towards the east keeps on increasing and the third one is the value of the immediate left of the feature has to be written the value of the immediate left of the feature of the easting has to be written clear understood Mansla yo yi parnya the clear avando. That is, easting in our feature in the ana, e location in the kurtu, e location de immediate left lilla easting in a value in the ana, a value ana, namula, epulum, edit under the. In the end of the teacher, why am I saying this is, you are going to study four figure grid reference and six figure grid reference. This is separate, separate it alla padikyam one other. This is why we call it as grid reference. This is why we grid reference. It is like a square, north-south lines, west, east-west lines. We are going to study. Clear? Understood this one? Now, easting, hope it is clear. Let me finish northing. Then again, once again, I will uh, explain. And then, I will do four figure and six figure in the next class. Easting on the parni there now. That is Endani Easting. North south lines are called as Easting. And or mail vekan nitra matri vekanalo. North south lines are called as Easting. Second point, the value towards the east keeps on increasing. Unamata then dana, either Uriculum easting in the definition of northing in the definition of file like you need not write. It is only for, a, for examination, you will be getting four figure theorem that I will be uh, giving as an exercise. Other uh, location they will be asking and they will be asking you to find out the four figure and six figure. That is how you have to do. And the third one is, for example, they have given a location. They have, sorry, they have given a uh, feature. Feature means they have given a church over here and they are asking you to find out the location of easting. How will you find out the location of easting? 74 is there, 75 is there, 76 is there, 77 is there. All these are the values of easting. E the value is the rule and easting is the rule and the e geographical feature and Immediate, every day, every day, every For example, this church, every day, all. This church, every day, all. 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 Church, every day, every day, that is 74. So, the rule says that, that is, value of the easting to the immediate left of the geographical feature should be written. The is a rule. That means, simple example, example, the rule says that, you have a left in the left side, you have a left side, you have a left side, teacher, parayana, the rule says that, immediate left is the name of the left side, you have a name of the left immediate left to the left, the name is the name. That is the name. This feature is the immediate left to the easting value. Now, so, here is the name 74. Here is the name of the name. Here is the name of the name. This feature is the immediate left to the easting value. Understood? Now, shall we move to northing? So, what, is, what do you mean by northing? The first, fe uh, the first fe uh, feature or the first point to remember is same like easting. That is, east-west lines are called as northing. This is clear. Second feature, what do you want to do? The value towards the north keeps on increasing. Here we say, the value towards the east keeps on increasing. Here we say, the second point, the value towards the north keeps on increasing. This is the third point. What is the third point? The third point is the easting area is clear. One location, how will you find out the location of the easting means? The location is the immediate left of the easting area. 
എഴുതാൻ പറഞ്ഞത് യെസ് സു നൗ വട്ട് ഇസ് ദ റൂൾ ഫോർ നോർത്ത് ഇങ് ലെറ്റ് മീ റൈറ്റ് ദ ചേർച്ച് സെയിം ചേർച്ചിനെ തന്നെ ഞാൻ കൊണ്ടുവരാം ചേർച്ച് ഇവിടെ ഇട്ടു നൗ റൈറ്റ് ദ വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് ദ എന്താണ് ചെയ്യാം ഇമ്മീഡിയറ്റ് സൗത്തിലുള്ള നോർത്തിങ്ങിൻ്റെ വാല്യൂ നോർത്തിങ് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഏതാണ് തേർട്ടി ഫൈവ് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് തേർട്ടി സെവൻ തേർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ആണ് നോർത്തിങ്ങിൻ്റെ വാല്യൂസ് ഹരി യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് വിച്ച് ആർ ദ നോ വാല്യൂസ് ഓഫ് നോർത്ത് തിങ്സ് തേർട്ടി ഫൈവ് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് തേർട്ടി സെവൻ തേർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ആർ ദ വാല്യൂസ് ഓഫ് ദ നോർത്ത് തിങ്സ് തേർട്ടി ഫൈവ് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് തേർട്ടി സെവൻ തേർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് തേർട്ടി നയൻ ദീസ് ആർ ദ വാല്യൂസ് ഓഫ് ദ നോർത്ത് തിങ്സ് അപ്പോൾ എന്താണ് റൂൾ നമ്പർ റൂൾ നമ്പർ ത്രീ വാട്ട് ഇറ്റ് സീസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് ദ what is that the value of the north things that is the value of the immediate south illa value aanu ezhudandathu that is the value of the immediate south of this geographical location has to be written the value of the immediate south's value has to be written that is 35 clear that is here what we said here what we have said value of the easting immediate left of the feature has to be written here what we have to write value of the northing immediate south of the geographical fact feature has to be written value of the northing northing in the value ana edanda edakkana northings 35 36 37 38 value of the northing immediate south of the geographical feature which is the south south endu parayana idana north south immediate south ilulla value geographical feature the value ana ezhudandathu clear is that clear my dear children manasilavundo shall i explain it once again shall i explain so what are these uh, north things north things endu parayanathu east west lines are called as north things east west lines are called as north things ini what did you understand same ivada parnadu pole thane the value towards the north keeps on increasing now i have written a feature here i have to find out the location of north thing east thing inde karyam manasilai aa location inde feature inde immediate left illulla east thing inde value ezhudanam clear aayi അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ നോർത്തിങ്ങിൻ്റെ വാല്യൂ എന്ന് വാല്യൂസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് തേർട്ടി ഫൈവ് തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് തേർട്ടി സെവൻ തേർട്ടി എയ്റ്റ് ഒക്കെയാണ് അപ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് ഡൗട്ട് വരും ഏത് വാല്യൂ ആണ് എഴുതേണ്ടത് ഈ ജോഗ്രഫിക്കൽ ഫീച്ചറിൻ്റെ ഇമ്മീഡിയറ്റ് സൗത്തിലുള്ള ജോഗ്രഫി ലൊക്കെ വാല്യൂ ആണ് എഴുതേണ്ടത് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് ദ നോർത്ത് തിങ്സ് ഇമ്മീഡിയറ്റ് സൗത്ത് ഓഫ് ദ ജോഗ്രഫിക്കൽ ഫീച്ചർ ഹാസ് ടു ബി റിച്ചൺ അപ്പോൾ ഒരു പക്ഷേ അത് ഇവിടെ ആണെങ്കിലോ ഇത് ഇമ്മീഡിയറ്റ് സൗത്തിൽ തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് അത് ഒരു പക്ഷേ ഇവിടെ ആണെങ്കിലോ ഇമ്മീഡിയറ്റ് ഇതിൽ തേർട്ടി സെവൻ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് ക്ലിയർ ഷൽ ഐ സ്റ്റോപ്പ് ഇറ്റ് ഹിയർ സോ വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ ഐ വിൽ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ഇറ്റ് ദെൻ ഐ വിൽ സ്റ്റോപ്പ് ഇറ്റ് സോ വൺസ് അഗെയിൻ ലെറ്റ് മീ ഡു എ റീക്യാപ്പ് പിന്നെ കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ പിന്നെ നമ്മൾ അടുത്ത ക്ലാസ് ഫോർ ഫിഗറും സിക്സ് ഫിഗറിലേക്കും പോവാം സോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് വാട്ട് ആർ ദീസ് ഈസ്റ്റിങ്സ് നോർത്ത് സൗത്ത് ലൈൻസ് ആർ കോൾഡ് ആസ് ഈസ്റ്റിങ്സ് നോർത്ത് സൗത്ത് ലൈൻസ് ആർ കോൾഡ് ആസ് ഈസ്റ്റിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് the value towards the east will be increasing and the third point what did i say that is value of the eastings immediate left of the geographical feature is taken for consideration that means ivade aanu for example ivade aanu oru symbol ennundengil idu oru palli aanu idu oru palli aanengil immediate ee palli ide location parayan parnal what is the value of the eastings ennu choichu kenyal ningal endha pariya 16 ennu parayanam oru pakshe ivade aanengil 15 ennu parayum oru pakshe adu ivade aanengil 17 ennu parayum that means the value of the eastings to immediate left of the geographical feature 
will be taken into consideration that is evade aan geographical feature geographical feature means what your conventional signs and symbols it can be a graveyard it can be a mosque it can be a church it can be a lighthouse it can be a settlement it can be a railway track anything it can be our location the immediate left lella easting in the value aan ezhudandathu so this is called as easting this is what is easting next is northing what is northing the east west lines are called as east west lines are called as northings the east west lines are called as northings what did you understand the value towards the north keeps on increasing the value towards the north will be increasing so what when i said the value what is the next point same thing that is if it is a what is the third thing the value of the north thing immediate south the value of the north thing north things in the value enganeyana or location kandupidikka north thing in the location kandupidikku ennu parneyanal enganeyana how will you find out that is this geographical locations immediate south illulla north thing in the value aan kandupidikkanathu usually kutikalku confusion endha nu parnal northing um easting um tamil confusion varum so how will you identify east inde increasing nokkanam 75 east ilku ponadhu increase aanengil adu easting um mollikku north ilku increase aavanengil adu northing um aanu and and this together that is the value of the e, that means this easting and this northing together is called as what grid reference this is called as grid reference this is the solution for the problem of what we had said my new title geographical features in the locations kandupidikkanengil what has to be this easting and this northing joining together will give you or, or, or will give you or is called as grid reference and in this we are going to study two types of there is one the four figure grid reference is there and six figure grid idilana nammal ee locations okke kandupidikka that is which this we will be doing it in the next class so my dear children uh hope it's very clear here you have got nothing to write but onnum ezhudanilla just uh easting inde three features northing inde three features what you have to write is you have to write the features only uh northing easting yeah, three features that is uh three three features you write and you can just leave it off is that okay so shall i stop it here hope you have understood if you have got any doubt you can call me and uh, before i conclude i would like to say one thing children i am very happy you all are sending me the file but i really i i i'm sorry for it i do you have to uh, excuse me this this week i have been checked your file and some of you were complaining teacher i have been sending the file you have been checked it yes of course i have been checked but i'm going through the names just i'm going through the names surely i will be checking and i'll be sending it so my dear children uh read write do a good deed and do self evaluation thank you children have a great day love you all